Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter three, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. I'm gonna zoom this in a bit so you guys can see. So when it's talking about multiplying using partial products, it's wanting you to do what we were doing, multiplying with the boxes minus the boxes. So whereas with the boxes, it would be uh, 50 plus six and 30 plus two, and you would do that multiplication. It wants you to do that where you're doing it minus the boxes, okay? So, and then add them all up, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and give that a try. If it's easier for you to use the boxes, use the boxes. It's just, it's not a big deal. So, five times three is 15. I'm gonna add in those two zeros, okay? Two times five is 10. Don't let that 10 fool you. I still have to add that zero in, okay? I did not line this up properly. Okay, six times three is 18. I'm gonna add in a zero and six times two is 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that that one is over to the side when I add these up, okay? So now we're gonna go all the way down and that's two, our second row. Sorry, y'all, I really didn't line that up very nicely. Our second row is gonna be zero, zero, eight, and one, which equals nine. Our third row is five, one, and one, which is seven, and then our last one is one, okay? Promise next time I'll line them up right, okay? So, now, our next one, we're gonna try it without writing these down on the side, okay? So we're gonna say 80 times 60, okay? Well, eight times six is 48, and the 80 and the 60 both have a zero on them, so that's two zeros. Okay, then 80 times four. Well, eight times four is 32, and I still have the one zero on it from eight, okay? So now I'm done with the 87, okay? Now I need to do 60 times, nope, already did that one. See, this confuses me too, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do it on the box, okay? So. 80 plus 7 and 60 plus 4. We have our 80 plus 60. We have 80 plus times 4. Okay, so now we need 60 times 7. Well, 6 times 7 is 42, and then I have to add a 0 on. And then, okay. Okay, and, and then four times that seven is going to be 28, okay? See, those mess me up just as much as they mess everybody else up. Now we're just going to add, and I did line this one up a little bit better, okay? So all the way down, we get eight. Two, two, and two is six. Eight plus three is 11, plus four more is 15. Carry that one, one plus four. Five, 5,568, okay? Now, I'm not gonna bother doing the partial products without doing the box, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my box, okay? So I'm gonna have 30 plus three, and I'm gonna have 20 plus five, okay? So now, 30 times 20, 600, three times two is six, plus the two zeros, okay? Three times five is 15. I'm gonna add that one zero one. I'm done with my 30. Three times 20 is 60, and three times five is 15. Now I'm gonna come over to the side and I'm gonna line those up nice and neat. And then I'm gonna add them up, okay? So go all the way down, that's five. 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 1 more is 12, carry that 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 1 more is 8, 825, okay? So, you guys, if you can manage this, I'm impressed, you go ahead and do that, okay? I'm going to do it this way, okay? You guys do that through number 11, 
Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You guys do, you totally can. I have faith. Okay. We're gonna go down to number 12, and it says Evelyn drinks eight glasses of water a day, which is 56 glasses of water a week. How many glasses of water does she drink in a year? Okay. So, and it gives you a hint that one year is 52 weeks, and that means that 56 is going to be multiplied by 52, okay? So I'm going to draw my box, and I'm going to put 50 plus 6 and 50 plus 2. You don't have to put the plus sign here. I just like to remember how I got my 56 and my 52. That way, when I look back, I know exactly what it was, okay? So 5 times 5 is 25 plus those two zeros. 5 times 6 is 30. Don't you let that fool you? You still have to add in that extra zero. Okay, 2 times 5 is 100. 2 times 6 is 12. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to line them up. Make that look like a zero. Add them up. Okay, so 2, 1, 9, 2. Okay. That is 2,912 glasses. It wants to know how many glasses of water. Okay, there you go. Okay, Joe wants to use the hiking club's funds to purchase new walking sticks for each of its 19 members. The, cost, the stick costs $26 each and the club has $480. Is it enough money to buy each member a new walking stick? If not, how much more money is needed? So I'm gonna use scratch paper so that I know I'm going to have enough room. Okay, you can always use scrap paper and just staple it to your paper when you turn it in. It's not a big deal, okay? So 29, oh, sorry, $26 for 19 members. And then we need to know if $480 is enough, okay? So actually, we don't even have to do this. We can just subtract if we need to. Okay, so I'm going to draw my box. Okay, and I'm going to put 20 plus 6, and I'm going to put 10 plus 9. Okay, so 10 and 20, 2 with two zeros, 60, 18 with a zero, and 54. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to line those up. Okay, so going all the way down. 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 5 more is 19, carry your 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. So I would need $494, and I only have $480. So I'm going to take what I need and subtract what I have, and that'll tell me how much more I still need after what I've already got. Okay, so 4 minus 0. Four, nine minus eight, one, that's zero. So I would still need $14. So, so over here, I would put the $494 minus the $480, and I would put my $14, and then I would put still need $14. Okay? We're going to go over to the back on the lesson check. You guys are totally going to do that. You absolutely can. We're going to go to the final review. Okay. So last year, the city library collected 117 used books for its shelves. This year, it collected three times as many books. How many books did it collect? So one, one, seven times three collected three times as many. It's telling you three times. Multiply it. Okay. So. Three times seven is 21, carry your two. Three times one is three, plus two more is five. And three times one, there, 351 books. There you go, okay? Washington Elementary has 232 students. Washington High has six times as many students. How many students does Washington High have? So 232, and it's telling you times six. Okay, and whatever our answer is, our label will be students. How many students? Okay, so 
6 times 2 is 12, carry your 1. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19, carry your 1 again. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1, 13. So, 1,392 students. Okay? List the partial product of 35 and 7. Well, that makes 7 times 30 and 7 times 5, because 35 is 30 plus 5, and then you're multiplying 7 by each one. So 210 and 35. Those are your partial products. You don't have to do anything else. Okay? Shelby has 10 $5 bills and 13 $10 bills. How much money does Shelby have in all? Well, 10 times those 13 and 10 times 5 will tell us how much she has if we just add it up. Okay? So, 13 times 1 is 13, then I need to add that 0 1, and 5 times 10 is 50. So, she has $180. Okay? All right, guys, good job. Come on back for 3.2.